The Radio Wamo Breakfast. Suckling on the teat of tech. With Paul Brislin. Yes, talking high tech with Paul Brislin. It's been a couple of weeks. G'day to you, Paul. Good morning. Yes, hello. Sorry, I stood you up last week for Buzz Aldrin. You tell us about this. You, know, you, went, oh. you went to a very special event, didn't you? I did, I did. So um, Planet 2010 was on last uh, Friday and Saturday. This is a, a telco industry event. But rather than make it a typical telco industry event full of um, regulatory matters and um, discussions of IP version 6 versus IP version 4 and all the rest of it, yeah. we, um, we had Buzz Aldrin come along and talk about landing on the moon, <laughs> which was awesome. Did you meet him? I, I sort of met him. I stood next to him and Charlie sort of just hung around and didn't say a word. I was too much of a fanboy. But he is um, he, he's, he's 80. He's spent, uh, he got off, I'll tell you a little bit about his itinerary, he got off the plane um, in Auckland, uh, he's doing Dancing with the Stars, so they flew out his dance coach slash partner and Is he? took him off to a dance studio, yep, US Dancing with the Stars, <laughs> so he spent, uh, he spent a little while dancing while they filmed that, he came back, had a dinner with a whole bunch of politicians and various luminaries, um, went to a rehearsal for the show, uh, went to bed. Got up in the morning, did breakfast television, came along to the show, did the introductory speech. That night, Louis Vuitton discovered he was in town and asked him to come along to some special dinner they were having, so he went off to that. And then he came back again on the Saturday wow. morning and did it all over again. He's a busy man. And in between, he's a, he's, he's, he's a tweeter as well. And he tweets while he's going. Yes, yeah. yeah. So he, he'd just come from the uh, Winter Olympics. Well, not directly, of course, but uh, the last couple of tweets I saw from him, he'd been at the Winter Olympics handing out gold watches on behalf of some... Um, company uh, that was giving gold medal winning athletes um, prizes. Well, so, you, you know, he really quite enjoys his life, I think. Yeah. And hearing about the moonshot firsthand was incredibly cool, I have to say. Yeah. Just is it, awesome is it frustrating, though, that he still has to field questions about, oh, did it actually happen? Well, uh, I think he gets frustrated, um, but he, he has an outlet for his rage, uh, which is when he punches people on him too much, he punches <laughs> this guy on the nose. That's great. And if you've seen the video, um, he deserved it. This guy backed him into a corner. Yeah. Buzz is not that tall. He's shorter than I am, and I'm not that tall. Uh, and at whatever it was, 75, 76 years old, uh, he took umbrage at this guy, telling him he was a coward, and bopped him one. What and the, what, that, and what, the judge threw him out. What these conspiracy theorists uh, fail to understand, because they're so thick, is that there are so many people involved with so yep. many... <laughs> Do you want to come in on this, Jason? We've got Jason Bryant, is, is a, I think, is one of these thicky um, conspiracy theorists. <laughs> um, this is, there's so many people involved, it's impossible to keep that a secret. Impossible. Exactly, exactly. 400,000 people involved in the <laughs> Apollo program alone. Yeah. Um, come on. Know, <laughs> get over it. Yeah. You know, it's silly. It's like denying that the Earth is round. Exactly. Uh, yes. Foolishness. Now, Foolishness. Now, now let's, let's move on to a, a, a topic that um, has kind of annoyed me, actually. It's actually affected me. Mm. Um, this conflict between Viacom and Google, i.e. YouTube. Yes. YouTube, yes. Since Google bought YouTube, um, uh, apparently somebody at Viacom has decided they have deep pockets, and Viacom, which is a rights holder in the U.S., is busy suing Google for people uh, allowing people to upload video clips to the internet. Oh my God, where will it all end? Um, sadly, however, it's going quite badly for Viacom because, sadly, I mean, that's quite ironic, uh, it's going badly for Viacom because uh, it turns out that they have been secretly uploading videos themselves to YouTube for many years <laughs> and, in fact, have hired up to 18 uh, marketing agencies to do it on their behalf, even going so far as to um, process the video clips through... Um, through some kind of filter to oh, make them look a little bit more idiots. like somebody at home's done it instead of them. So, so but what, they've left a paper trail a mile wide, and now it's all before the courts. So what's so, happened here is that in, uh, um, it was probably even a couple of years ago, maybe three years ago, they were anti-YouTube, and now they're suddenly saying, oh, YouTube's actually quite useful, but yeah, we've yeah. got this law thing. that We're paying all these lawyers now to, you know, so, so they're, they're, they're gone down a certain path, and they can't reverse. And they simply can't reverse. And, and the, the more cynical amongst us would say they're doing it deliberately. Let's, let's upload lots of videos, then mm. sue them. Hopefully that will break the back of this um, Internet thing and we can all go back to the lives of the way we had it before. Yeah. It's just appalling. It is um, typical uh, American corporate maneuverings, um, using the law to try and change a business model because um, what used to work isn't working anymore. Yeah. Let, let, uh, I find it quite abhorrent. The whole thing's just appalling. Let me tell you how this has affected me because I, because the, 
um, I upload on a daily basis um, video clips from the show yep. every single morning, and um, and, so, and some of these video clips are you know, movie reviews or game reviews. Yeah. And now Viacom own Paramount Pictures, and they also right. own various so um, Star Trek and yeah. Yeah, yeah. I mean, it's various game companies as well. Um, they're a huge company. Terrible name, Viacom. It sounds like an Viacom. evil empire, really. But anyway... It sounds like some kind of drug, yeah. doesn't it? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> or a drug, yeah. yeah. But anyway, um, so what happens is if, if I upload a clip that includes a trailer, a movie trailer or a game trailer that they yeah. think they <laughs> own... It's yep. flagged as um as for copyright breach. Now right, this yeah, yeah. Th- this happens so, actually quite a lot with some companies who go no that's okay we do yep. own that content but you can still have that video there we might put, put right. some ads. That's right. A movie trailer there. is something that's an ad for our product. If you want to show our ad, you go right ahead. Yeah, that's, that's, that's you know the typical approach. Yep. They'll still still flag it, but it's it's available. Yep. But with yep. some of the Viacom ones, they go no, it's not going to be available. We're not taking it down, but it just won't be available. So it's exactly the same thing. So no one will be able to see it. And yeah. and YouTube have a really good process where you can um, uh, dispute copyright claims and cool. say, well, this is fair use or, or whatever. Yeah, the yeah. problem is with Viacom dispute claims, um, what happens is the, the email is fired off to Viacom. There's no one at the other end of the email. So nothing no, no, happens. No, it goes into a black hole. A yeah, black yeah, hole. Yeah. Yeah. So I, consequently, so can... I, have, I, have, I have one game <laughs> review, one game review that no one can see. And that is, uh, who is that helping? Who is that serving? Is it serving Viacom? Because yeah. now nobody knows that you've got a game review that might be positive. Yeah. Uh, no. Uh, is it serving the guys that make the games well? No. Is no. it serving your listeners? No. No, no it's not. No one, uh, no one wins. And, and it's all tied up in a big knot because some company doesn't realize that this is probably a good thing to have happen. Yeah. Um, this is, uh, and it goes to the heart of the whole copyright debate, this idea that um, anybody who doesn't pay for any iteration of anything is somehow a criminal, and um, that you know the, the entire court process must swing into action. Talk about tying up the courts with nonsense. Uh, you know this kind of thing is is just um, it, it, do, it doesn't help the producers of the copyright material. It doesn't help the mm. owners of the copyright, and it certainly doesn't help the viewers. Uh, it just gets in the, everybody's way. Absolutely, YouTube is, is a fantastic platform for distributing your content. Why don't you work out some way of working with Google to yeah. distribute your content so that you can use YouTube? Think of the costs it'll save. No longer do you have to send film all over the world, which is what they do at the moment. They actually courier bags and bags of film around the place. <laughs> uh, you just stick it on YouTube. Yeah. It's, you know, great model. Cut out the middleman entirely. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, well, one day, maybe. One day. One day. Hey, one Paul, day. thanks very much for your time this morning. Anytime. And we'll do it again next week. Paul Brislin on Twitter as well, twitter.com forward slash Paul Brislin. New on Kiwi.